Huh? Is this inside the TV? Th that's right. Where's everyone else? Where's Shokun? Shut up, Scrap. Enough yapping. I, I couldn't help it. Not when I knew you were safe. Hey, did you kill that thing? Huh? Did you destroy Hinokagutsuchi? Can't you understand words? Oh, yeah. You're strong. Huh? God damn it, do I have to say everything to you twice, you piece of junk? Never mind, you stupid toaster. None of your business. If you don't shut the hell up, I'm gonna cut you. But everyone's waiting for you. I'm sure Mitsuru-san and her people are too. <laughs> shut the hell up. I'm not gonna start listening to what anyone wants now. Go back to where you belong. Uh, Shokun! Hey, Scrap. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Now you can't even speak properly. <laughs> oh man. Uh, it's too much. <laughs> you, you don't have to laugh that much. <sighs> oh, damn it. You really are broken, aren't you? <sighs> hey. Do you think... Even now, he might be... Huh? Never mind. See you later, robot. You better have your damn oil changed or something. Huh? Oh! going on? I thought the fog suddenly lifted, but, but where am I? Labrys, you're okay! Oh, I'm so relieved that I can't stand up. Labrys-san, thank you. I believed in you. I knew that you could do it. I wish you could have seen us, Labby-chan. Shadow operative Junpei Iori totally nailed it. <laughs> Whoa! What a soft yet stinky landing spot. Oh, oh my, this is inside the TV! Wow, wee! Yuka chan, Ken Ken, Kurumaru's here too! Is everyone okay? Are we? This is the normal TV entrance. Oh, 
It would seem everything has been settled. Sister, I'm so glad you're okay. Still, I knew you would be able to overcome this. I'm going to have to try harder to keep up with you. You definitely showed us your resolve back there, Labrys. You did splendidly. We would have been in danger had you not been with us. <laughs> you haven't been with the Shadow Operatives for very long, but you've already become our ace in the hole. I'll continue counting on you, Labrys. Labrys, I sensed everything! It was really amazing! Labrys! I was so impressed that you beat such an immense enemy all by yourself! No, it was thanks to all of you. I only beat him down because you were with me. Thanks, guys. Now that was suspenseful. You did an amazing job. We're definitely throwing a celebration party. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. We have quite the group here together, after all. Labrys, thank you for all your hard work. Are you okay, Labrys? Are you hurt anywhere? I mean, you were really amazing! Thanks, Labrys. The town should return to normal now. It's all thanks to you. Yukun. Sorry, but I need to hear your report. Where is Minazuki? Were you able to speak with him? Oh, yes, but only for a little while. But before you all came here, he... Oh. Well, you know, Labrys, the Shadow Operatives are a formal organization. I am obligated to report about this case to the higher-ups. Right. That's why I was saying, before you all came here, Shokun- uh! <sighs> You're even more naive than I am. You really are like a child when it comes to these things. There are just some things you don't want to be honest about at times like this. That's why you just gotta dodge the question and- uh, OW! Hey, don't start teaching Labrys stuff like that. We don't want her becoming more like you. Ow! What was that for? You're scarier than the shadows. <clears throat> I didn't ask properly. Shadow Operative Labrys, do you know where Minazuki went? Um... I'm sorry, I don't know where he went. Oh! Phew! <laughs> I see. Normally we'd have to send someone to track him down, but if you don't know, then there's nothing to be done about it. I will report this case to our authorities, and the Shadow Operatives will take responsibility for it. All of us. Mitsuru-san! doing? We're gonna leave you behind if you don't hurry up! Ah! 
uh, are we really getting out from here? I'm feeling really anxious about this. Oh? Are you scared, Junpei? That's pretty lame for a big boy like you. Don't mind me for going on ahead. Please excuse us. Alright, Koromaru, we should go too. <sighs> well, I guess I'd better go for it. Here goes! Come on, Toothpaste! Hurry up! Come on, get going! Hey, I'm right already! This is my first time! Put me down! No! Places like this bring back. It's already been three years. <laughs> I know, right? Time goes by fast when you're living a fulfilling life. So you have a fulfilling life too, Junpei san? Can you teach me how to play baseball? Oh, now you're talking. Our team trains really damn hard. I won't go easy on you. Got it? That's what I was hoping for. I like sports after all. By the way, Yukari. Are you planning on going back looking like that? Uh, would everyone please stop talking about my clothes? I mean, you of all people shouldn't be talking, Akihiko-senpai. That costume's really cool, though. Wow, feather pink. I'm standing next to a real hero. There we go. Just be true to yourself, kid. Looking up to superheroes is what's truly childlike. Still, you're amazing, Yukari-san. You're actually wearing the costume and acting at the same time. Normally, even female ranger characters get played by male actors during the scenes while they're in their costumes. Huh? Is that for real? No, all those times I... Where did you hear that? Ken Kun's a big fan of those kinds of shows. But I guess he isn't all that childish anymore. I suppose it's because it's been three years. It might be in poor taste to say this right after what happened here, but I'm still glad we were able to get together again like this. Yeah, like we were guided here by fate or something. The great hero Junpei and his pal saved the world again! Right. You probably wouldn't have even made it here if fate hadn't guided you. Seriously, the way he ended up here is just ridiculous. Maybe we were guided here by fate. We made some new friends too, after all. Most of all, I'm happy that I met my sister. I was able to meet you, son, and the others as well. Thank you, sister. 
Now, I'm thankful for everybody else. Without you, I'd have never woken up and stayed in that box forever. I'd just be a machine that hurts people. And you all accepted me for who I am and gave me a place to belong. It's me. Milady, the preparations have been made. But are you sure about this? Yes, I'll be right there. Huh? Where are you going, Mitsuru-san? Hey! Mitsuru-senpai, don't tell me you're going back before us. Well, I'm sorry, but there are many things that need to be taken care of. I knew it! I'll have you know that we all put aside our jobs and other affairs to come here. You're gonna spend some time with us, like it or not. I do feel bad about causing you more trouble, but I guess, can't you persuade Yukari? No, I refuse that order. This is a situation with consequences that affect our team's morale. <laughs> Give it up, Mitsuru. Don't worry about figuring everything out right now. I'll make sure things with those public safety jerks get settled. What? This some guy's hassling you? Let me come with you. I'll tell him everything about how Mitsuru-san did her best to help. P please don't. Things will only get more complicated if you two get involved. Very well. I suppose I can forget about my duties for one day and enjoy some time off. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> you look so happy, Yukari-chan. It's been a while since I've seen you smile so much. Huh? You think so? Do I really not smile normally? Well, you always seem so angry, Yukatan. That's because you're always making me angry! Hey, time out, Yukatan! You, you could really hurt me with that thing! Thank you.